Hey everyone, it's Jody. We've got a jam-packed sing today, so let's make it happen. With Gamescom, the Euro equivalent to E3 in full swing, our team in Cologne, Germany has been posting a ton of content. Just to recap on some of the news, Sony announced yet another PSP called the E1000. This one is said to be only slated for the European market. It comes with a UMD drive, but no Wi-Fi, and it's supposedly geared and priced with kids in mind. More Gamescom news in a bit. With the Wii turning 5 this year, the Big N plans to give the maturing console a facelift. This holiday season, Nintendo of Europe will sell a redesigned Wii in a new hardware bundle with Wii Sports and Wii Party. The unit looks the same, but with the loss of the GameCube controller and memory card ports, GameCube compatibility will be absent. When GameSpot contacted a Nintendo of America representative, they didn't address the redesign specifically, saying only that the European hardware bundle wouldn't be released in North America. Moving on to PlayStation 3 territory, Cole from Infamous 2 is about to get bloodthirsty. Sucker Punch has plans to release a vampire-themed DLC pack titled Festival of Blood. After being bitten in a vampire invasion of Numerai, Cole must hunt down the head bloodsucker in a single night to save his soul. And I suppose he'll save the city too, if there's time. The DLC will feature new missions, characters, enemies, and settings. Also, the standalone package won't require players to own the previous games in the series. The Festival of Blood begins this October on PSN. As we mentioned earlier in the show, Gamescom has made this week quite exciting, and previews continue to service on the site. Let's give you a rundown on what to expect as of today. The Borderlands 2 is a first look at the game outlining Gearbox's long list of improvements. Star Wars The Old Republic impressions reveal an update about the two factions and one of the game modes. Uncharted 3 impressions is the aerial demo seen in the Sony press conference. Lastly, the Modern Warfare 3 preview has Sean McKinnis encountering killer dogs and suicide bombers in this new wave-based twist on the co-op. You can read these and more on the Gamescom coverage page. There's still a week left for those of you hoping to get your hands on a free ticket for the Call of Duty experience. Here's how. Be among the first to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, September 2nd and 3rd at the Call of Duty Experience in Los Angeles, California. The event comes complete with a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 tournament with a million dollars up for grabs. Not to mention a real-life recreation of the Scrapyard multiplayer map for paintball action. Attendees will also get to see how fast they can get through a real-life version of the pit. For those who will be in the Los Angeles area on September 2nd or 3rd and would like a chance to win a ticket for the event, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and send a video or text response letting us know why you think you should win. All entries should be submitted by August 23rd, when it will be announced on the August 25th episodes of Sync and On The Spot. While all subscribers who like the video and submit an entry are eligible, we're eager to reward the most creative and fun responses. Live action role-playing encouraged. Not eligible for those under 18 years of age without parents' consent. You've asked for it, now you've got it. You can now subscribe to the show on the iTunes Store, and we've also got the RSS feed available on GameSpot's video player. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. Thanks for sticking up today. We'll see you tomorrow.